All right, we're gonna do some building instructions for the moving satellite here. So to get the building instructions, you're gonna open up the WeDo app and we're gonna click on classroom projects and it's gonna be right here up at the top called moving satellite. And you can look at the entire Lego education lesson if you'd like, uh, but really we wanna hit go and then we're gonna scroll across until we get to start building and that's gonna bring up our building tutorials. It will always start with a picture of what it should look like at the end and then we can just go over and it will have each step, the pieces that we need, and then how to assemble them. For the WeDo 2.0 kit, uh, this is super important because if you flip it over, it's a wonderful map of everything that's inside your kit. So if you're ever having trouble finding a piece, uh, as long as it stays organized and you put pieces back where they belong, uh, it should be easy to find the pieces that you need just by looking at your map. So I'm going to set this aside and this white tray lifts up and this is where we're going to find some of these pieces like the long black 2x16 plate that we'll need for step one. All right so I'm going to kind of move this over a little bit just so it's out of the way and I'm going to have my parts and pieces right here. Um, I don't think it will all fit. Let me see if I can get it all so that you guys can see. All right, I'll try to make it so that you guys can see every, every step that I'm doing here. Uh, so we're gonna need our hub, and you'll notice on the picture that it wants it in the middle, and it wants it so that it's coming right up to the edge on here. So we're gonna put our hub just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna find one of these green pieces, and we're gonna put that right next to our hub. And then we're gonna take our motor. This is out of the blue tub. Will be our motor and it's facing this way out the back, okay? And you're gonna to wanna to take this cord and it doesn't matter which one you plug it into, uh, just, just so long as you plug it in the correct way. And I would try to twist it enough so this doesn't happen because um, we're gonna have a tire here that's moving. So however you wanna do your cable management, just kinda of get the cables up and out of the way. All right, just make sure that you're always pressing down so that it's as secure as possible. So we rotate it, and then we're gonna have two of these smaller white pieces, and they're gonna go on either end, right up here uh, on our hub. So on either end, right up at the top so it's flush. Then we're gonna have two of these black pieces. Now these ones are smooth on the bottom, and if you line up the four pins with these four, it pushes down and you can see it's gonna kind of stick up. What it, what it really is gonna do is gonna give us um, some smooth little bit so that it will be able to slide around. Okay, let's flip it over. We're gonna build the antenna now. So we're gonna need two of these sloped pieces, put those on, and then we're gonna take one of these, it's got the brick with the ball, the bionic ball. We're gonna put that here. And then we're going to take a one by four plate, put this across just to kind of like hold it down in place. All right, now we're gonna set this aside because it's not in the picture anymore. And so we're gonna take our piece, we're gonna put another one of those green, bits on top. All right, now this says a three in the building instructions. What that means is that this is a length three. If we hold it up against any other Lego piece, like this lift arm here, and we count the number of holes, it's one, two, three, or you can hold it up on a brick and you can count the number of um, dots that it covers, oops, sorry, covers one, two, three. So this is a length three, and in the building instructions, you'll see a three with a circle. This is getting pushed as far down as the bottom. So if you put it on a surface and you push until it is barely sticking up, and then we're going to take this wider. This can be tough sometimes, but as long as you kind of line up the holes, so they're in the same direction. And when we push down, it should just kind of go in nicely. This step is always tricky because it looks like in our picture, 
uh, in our building instructions that there's actually two pieces, but if we look up here in the blue, it just says one X, meaning one of these pieces. So really it's just this yellow piece that's right here. Even though in the building instructions, this is black up at the top, it's still just this one piece. Um, you kind of have to move it around, but it should fit in nicely in between these four dots. So see how it's right in the center, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna take this end here, this groove, and we're just gonna push it till you hear a snap. And now this is snapped in place right here. And if you wanna pull it off, sorry, some pieces might come out, but you just kind of pull and this pops in and allows it to move around. It's kind of like your shoulder joint, a little ball and socket. And now we have a little satellite dish that can kind of move a little bit around. We can kind of move it. And then we want our satellite to be able to move, so we're gonna give it a wheel. So we're gonna take this little tiny red piece, we're gonna stick that as far down into the motor as you can go. Sometimes you hear a little click. And then these two pieces here, your wheel might already be assembled, in which case you have both the white and the rubber piece. If it's not already assembled, all you need to do, um, take the end that's not concave, so the one that's flat, and line that up with the side of the wheel that's that's flat. And then you're gonna push it in until it's kinda, it seats inside and then you have a concave side, like a rounder side, and then this side should be flat. Okay, and then this, we're just going to push onto the red axle and just push as far as it can go. And there is our satellite. Okay, now we're gonna program our satellite. So we finished, I'm gonna just kinda of set it here. So we finished, if we go next, it will say connect. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have Bluetooth turned on, and we're gonna check here in a second if we do. And we're gonna hit the connect button, and it's gonna tell us to press the center green button on here. So I'm gonna press that button, and you'll see it starts blinking saying, Where's the Bluetooth? You should see a device pop up up here. If you do not see a device on here, please make sure that you check your settings on your device. So on an iPad, I would go to settings and then I scroll all the way down on the side until I get to WeDo 2.0 and I make sure that Bluetooth and microphone are both checked on, that they're green. Okay, go back to WeDo. See how it's not blinking anymore, so I can't connect it. Click it so it's blinking. Tap this. When this turns green here, this light will be a solid blue. Connected. All right, hit back to project here. And then says, all right, we're connected. We go to the next step. And it tells us how to program. It gives us the blocks up here and shows us, hey, we need to drag them over here. So the first one that we're moving over is engine speed. So how fast does it rotate? We have it currently set at eight and it wants it at one. So if we click on the number, we can then select down here for another number. So I'm gonna hit one. And then this is which direction is the motor gonna rotate? So I want it this way, but watch if I tap on the block on my screen, I can flip it. If you're on a computer or a device where it doesn't have a touch screen, you have both the choices down here. But on an iPad, you can just click and it will flip which direction the motor will go. And then the last one is the little sand timer, meaning how many seconds is it gonna turn for? I'm gonna set this to three. And then I hit the play button here. Not up here, this won't do anything. This is your program here. If for any reason you need to stop the motor, don't just grab it. <laughs> that doesn't stop a motor. That just puts a lot of friction on it. So if you need to stop it, Hit the stop button. So I'm gonna hit play, and you'll see my satellite is turning. So the little satellite dish is focusing. Look at that, we've turned it. So you can always change things. We can make it go faster. Let's make it eight, maybe for four seconds. So change some of the parameters, play around with it. I'm gonna hit play. Ooh, now it's moving faster. Making a couple circles, a couple rotations. So play around with this code, uh, have fun with it, sort of explain how it's working in your own words. And if you don't know, 
I just encourage you to change some of these parameters and see what you can do. You can also add in uh, this button here, changes the color of the light. So maybe we want it to turn orange when the program goes. You can also add in different sounds. So maybe <laughs> uh, it'll make a dolphin sound when it finishes. So I hit play, it turns orange, rotates around for four seconds, and then made the dolphin sound. So have fun, play around with it. When you're ready, there are two challenges uh, on the Canvas page below. Check those out. I have videos for what it should look like but I'm not gonna tell you how to program them. All right, good luck with the satellite.